All of us are approaching Oklahoma as though it were a new work. We're trying to imagine it uh, free of expectation, um, free of any preconceived ideas or assumptions we have uh, about the piece. It's almost as if uh, 10,000 years from now, if you were to find a time capsule and found the score in the book of Oklahoma, and you would go, what is this? How would we do it? The, the research that we were all really basing it on comes out of uh, community centers, uh, chili cook-offs, barn dances. And the other thing is to get the audience kind of as close to the experience of the show uh, as they can, almost get them inside of it, inside the story, inside the music, inside the people. No audience member is further than one row away from the actors. The audience all sits at these tables um, where they'll have a meal of intermission. And it's not a kind of participatory thing, but they are very close to the action. They're very close to the music. And there's a, there's a desire for the piece to sound uh, as immediate and kind of as acoustic as possible. I'll scrub my neck and I'll brush my hair and start all over again. The band is going to be kind of a country bluegrass back porch kind of band that consists of upright bass, pedal steel, acoustic and electric guitar, fiddle, banjo, and accordion. And Dan Kluger has done uh, new musical arrangements. Like, just more, like, longer strums. There's a uh, really wonderful theatricality in the way the lyrics and the music work together. It's a great story, it's great music, it's an extraordinary piece. I need 